Oh boy, The Walking Dead. This is going to be like a long ass video, huh? It feels like it is going to be a long video talking about this topic. It's probably like 20 minutes or something. Because, you know, before I get into this, I'm going to say uh, this. If you don't watch this video, if you're going to get, uh, you know, offended. If you're a big fan of the show, you don't have to watch it. You know, you don't have to watch this video. If you're a big fan of the show, you know, don't watch it. Go uh, go watch the show or go do something else. Go outside, play in the snow. Because this, this is the winter time, so, uh, I don't know. It depends where you're at, you know. Maybe you're, like, in California or something like that. It's like, even though California has a lot of snow, too, so. It's weird, right? Isn't it? Huh? But anyways, yeah. If you're a big fan of the show, don't watch this video. You read the title that says, Walk It Dead is Overrated. Don't watch the video. You know what the title says. Why would you watch it and get offended by it? You know, I'm just letting, letting you know right now before I start this rant about it. <clears throat> Let me clear my throat real quick. <clears throat> okay. So, The Walking Dead. Oh, boy. This show will be off like over a decade. And you're still making all these stupid spinoffs. Making this show. Making that show about The Walking Dead. AMC is greedy as hell. Just like the whole, you know, Better Call Saul show. Better Call Saul is ten times better than this. I'll tell you that. Because they really fucked up this show really badly. Especially. Especially. When they killed off Shane for The Walking Dead. Shane Walsh. Which a lot of you guys don't know his last name actually is Walsh. So yeah, they killed off Shane Walsh. One of the best characters. Well, the best character in the entire show. The entire show of The Walking Dead. They decided to just fucking kill him off. Kill him off the show. I'm like, are you fucking kidding me? Two seasons into the show you just decided to just kill the guy off? John Bertha was like, had the best character in the entire show. Everyone else was like, I mean, okay, you got Daryl, you got Rick. Yeah, they're cool. You got, uh, fucking, uh, what's that, uh, Chinese dude's name is? Korean dude? Uh, you got him in there. Somebody's gonna correct me and tell me what this is. Glenn, Glenn. They had Glenn in there, and they had, uh, the other, the, the white chick, Maggie. They had her in there. And he had, he had Herschel. You know, great characters, uh, T-Dog, they had great characters in there, and somehow they killed off the best character in the entire show, they just killed them off, so early into the show, two seasons, that's all we got from Shane, John Barotto, two seasons of the fucking character, they could have just waited to like kill off to like the, I don't know, the eighth season or something like that, he was the best character, he was like brothers with fucking Rick, you know, they had a stupid fight over Rick's wife, and they, they they both want to fuck her. I'm like, you know, you know, it'd be a better idea. You know, it'd be a better idea if Lori died, and it was just those two left. And it was like, oh, why why fight anymore when she died? And they're like, they're both crying and shit. They're like, you know what? Fuck this shit. We're gonna bury her and we're gonna move on and we're gonna start killing walkers together with the whole gang with us. You know, that would have been a better fucking story than what they came up with. Oh, that's just fall early by the comic book. Like, these freaking idiots that write the show is just, like, sometimes when you write a show, you don't always have to follow what the comic book says. Yes, there is times that you should follow the comic book, and there's times that you should not follow the comic book. There are options. There is always fucking options, and that's facts. There is always options. You have to think about it very hard about what you should do to make this show better. Is by, you know, killing off the right characters, you know? And I was surprised to see, you know, Carol, of all people, live throughout the whole season of the shows. She lived through all the seasons of the show. Like, she's still alive to this day in the show. I'm like, I thought she'd be killed, killed off, like, in the fucking first season or so two. Like, how the hell is she still alive? Why Why are these, these writers keeping her alive? What's so special about Carol? She's just boring old lady. I don't get what's so special about her, you know. I I don't get it, especially the shows like a big old soap opera, and most times it ain't about fucking walkers. It's about assholes taking over territories and being dictators and shit, like they're uh, Adolf Hitler or something. I'm just uh, I'm not into this shit. Ever since they killed off Shane, I just fucking dropped the ball of this show. Just dropped the ball. I just moved on. After like the fourth season. Even though Shane was alive in seasons three and four. I, I still watched it because I was like. You know I got nothing else to watch. I keep watching this. 
until afterwards I move out to like Breaking Bad, which has like a, a way entire better show than this. Way far beyond better than this garbage. And they kept killing off like great black characters like T Dog and Tyrese. So I'm like, those guys are like beast characters, and they keep killing these uh, great characters off. But somehow Carol like lives throughout like ten seasons, and she's still alive to this day. And I, I don't get that. Like, what's so great about Carol? Tyrese and T Dog are like way better characters than, than Carol. I don't know. Like, like I said, these writers are just stupid. They're just generic and boring. They don't. They're not creative. They're not like Vince Gilligan when he created Breaking Bad at the time. But I mean, I can't really stick up stick up for that guy either because he wrote like season six of Better Call Saul, so I can't really stick up for him anymore. I don't think he really entirely wrote the season six because I heard he like quit after like season three or four of Better Call Saul or something. So I can understand that because they're just fucking stretching the shot way too long and way too boring with all these stupid bullshits. Especially got Jimmy acting like a little fucking kid. You know, he's like a grown man. He's doing these pranking uh, Howard all day in season six with his fucking wife. Like, this is going around just pranking the dude instead of just, I don't know, building your fucking lawyer empire or something. It's like, the whole show, he, he, he never turns into Saul Goodman at all. He never, he, like, he turns into Saul Goodman. He just keeps going around pranking Howard throughout the whole season six. I was like, wow, this is some kind of filler bullshit. But speaking of Breaking Bad, because like I said about Walking Dead, it's because Rick and Shane is like a great duo, just like Walt and Jesse, right? They killed off Shane from The Walking Dead in only two seasons. They killed him off and the ratings dropped by a lot. Rapidly a lot. And then there's Breaking Bad. Vince Gilligan almost killed off Jesse Pinkman and guess what he changed his mind and decided to not kill him off and the show rays went up really higher and higher and higher but the dumbasses the walking dead decided it's a great idea to kill off Shane because like the comic book said so wow that's that's very very fucking smart right you guys are very smart for doing that let's give these guys a high five no not high five let's give them a clap let's give them a clap a -roo. Let's give these guys a clap a roof just for that great idea. Wow, you really make the high reins go up on that one, right? Wrong. Fucking wrong. Because after John Burnbow got killed off from the show, he got like way better roles. Way better roles. You know, he was the Punisher, he was this character, he was this great character. I'm not saying he had all great characters, but he had better fucking things to do than this show. Way better movies and stuff like that. So, fuck it, right? I still think like he should have lasted till uh, he should have lasted until the uh, the Negan era, where you know that douchebag with the baseball bat. I felt like the last episode of Walking Dead of season eight, Rick and Shane team up to kill Negan in the garage, and they all like kill each other and they all die in the garage together and the, the walkers maybe like come in and eat them or something like that and like Carl's like only the last person to escape from all these walkers eat everybody in there like everybody dies in the show in season 8 everybody dies Glenn dies Maggie dies Michonne dies everybody dies it was just Carl Carl's like the last survivor of the whole uh, Walking Dead season 8 last episode that's it the end that would have been a great fucking ending. But then again, they decide to just keep going on and on and on and on with more new seasons, unnecessary seasons that nobody gives a fuck about. On and on and on and on. And then when they say they're going to end the show, they did not end the show. They made a spinoff show to The Walking Dead called something other bullshit. With Negan still alive, somehow Negan's a good guy now. He's working with Sean and all of them. Because, oh, because he has like a big fan base. Why would kill him off if he has a big fan base? Because he's a bad guy. He's supposed to be killed off. What the fuck? You can't make a fucking bad guy be a good guy. It doesn't, it doesn't work like that. Unless I'm missing something, I don't know. It, it does not work like that. You don't do that. Just like they try to make Frieza a good guy. It's a, no, Frieza, he's just pure evil. For Dragon Ball Z. He's evil. You can't make him a good guy. These writers don't know jack shit how to write this show. 
they keep switching around the radius too many times to go with this guy, they gotta switch over with this guy, find another person, find another person, this, that, back and forth, blah, blah, blah. They keep switching around over and over again, they can't figure out which guy should we direct the show, which, who, who should write the show. They keep, keep like switching around and they can't figure out who should write the show. Yeah, that's the spin-off show, Dead City. <sighs> When we all thought they they were finally going to end the show, but somehow no, they were going to make another show, another series, a spinoff to The Walking Dead called Dead City with the same characters you know from the original Walking Dead. It's pathetic, and they made another spinoff show with Daryl, just because. That's the reason. That just because because you know, a lot of people are going to watch it, and they're going to make a lot of money off these idiots that look at the, look at the screen, and get their eyes glued to the TV because they know they love Daryl Dixon. It's like, oh, I got an idea. Let's make a show with Daryl Dixon. Have his own spinoff show. It's a great idea, huh? We got so many people watching it, make a lot of money, and that's what they did, and they won. And the people just bought right into it with shitty characters surrounded with Daryl Dixon. They do. They don't even do that shitty characters surrounded by him. I guarantee it. It's a bunch of boring ass actors with him. Because I do like the actor um, Norman Reedus, but it's just the actors having surrounded around him is just fucking lame and boring. Like I said, the whole show is like a big old soap opera, bunch of whining and crying and shit. And most of the time, it's about just like I said, dictators and you know running territories in the show, like like the Adolf Hitler or fucking. Uh, the guy that run Cuba. Uh, what's his fucking name? I, I, I always knew his name. Now I can't remember his name. I, I, I always know his name. It'll come to me shortly, but... You know what I'm talking about. Like, it's just... it's The show's mostly more about dictators than walkers. Zombies. It's more The show's like more about that than zombies. But zombies only like show up when it's time for them to show up. That that's how stupid the show is. The show's called Walking Dead, but somehow it's more about soap operas and assholes running territories like dictators. It's been done to death over and over and over. They keep doing like the same shit in this show. You got all these fucking douchebag dictators running everything. And like the last season of Walking Dead, it has some some kind of stormtrooper shit going on. They were all these stormtrooper alphas and shit, and all like orange colors instead of white stormtrooper colors. I'm like, why are they ripping off fucking Star Wars? Like, are you kidding me with this? They got motherfuckers, they got motherfucking stormtroopers and walking dead? Where the hell they get all that outfits from? How the fuck can they make all that shit? It's the walking dead. It's zombie apocalypse. There's no possible way you can make that type of shit. Like this shit, like I said, this show makes no sense whatsoever. I'm surprised there's no superheroes flying around in the air in the walking dead. I'm surprised that, that shouldn't happen yet. Or a giant super walker. It's a big giant super walker. He's gonna eat everybody alive. He's like stands like fucking ten feet tall. Holy shit! Everybody's gonna die now. Oh my god! Jesus, Marie. This show's got to end. These shows got to end. And they had this other one, Fear the Walking Dead. Ooh, Fear the Walking Dead with more shitty actors and shitty characters, more soap opera. Oh man, I'm so scared of this show. Oh man. There's better zombie shits to watch than, than this soap opera nonsense. I'd rather go watch a Grey's Anime to watch this. I'd rather go watch the Days of Our Lives and watch this. <laughs> I swear to God, I'd rather go watch that than watch this shit ever again. Like I said, I don't watch this show in like over like a decade. Like the last time I watched The Walking Dead Foley was season four, and that's it. I didn't, I didn't like to kill off Herschel off either. I didn't like to kill off Herschel. You know, the actor died like five years after he got killed off of the show. I don't know. I just didn't like the way... I didn't like the people they killed off of the show. They killed off the wrong the wrong characters. You always keep the, like, the lame people alive. Especially when they kill off Carl. That was like the dumbest... The, one of the stupidest ideas I've ever seen in a show in my entire life. Because I, I know guarantee the actor did not want to be killed off from the show. Because I heard that he did all this moving and this and that. He moved to uh, a different town to, to, to shoot this episode. All of a sudden he heard that he's getting killed off from the show. What kind of fucking bullshit is that? I would have been fucking pissed off. You just kill me off and that's it? I did all this moving and packing. Just go shoot this episode and it turns out I'm getting killed off from the show? That's like ridiculous. These these idiot writers. I don't, I don't know if he gets killed off from the comic book or not. I don't know. I don't know. I don't read a comic book. The only thing I know about a comic book with that is that Shane gets killed off in a comic book. 
Which still, I th- I still think they should have changed that in the show and kept him alive. Like like I said, be creative. It's so simple to be creative. But somehow they still went with a stupid comic book instead of just changing shit around in the live action series. Like fucking Carl could took over the show. He would have been the next guy to go around uh, leading a team or something. But somehow they decided to just kill him off. He's like, well, what? What is uh, the actors now? He's like twenty five now, twenty four, twenty five. That's like a wasted potential of a character. They wasted a, a potential of a character. So wasted. Just like they wouldn't wasted Shane. It was it's like pathetic. They just steal they don't know they don't know how to run the show. They just don't care. All they care about is making money, and that's like the wrong way how to make money is killing off the wrong goddamn characters. Like I said, I was mad when they killed off T Dog and then uh Tyrese. That was like stupid as hell. Dumb ass people. They kill like the wrong ass people. Someone to keep the losers alive more than the, the, the great characters. Okay, maybe it's fine to kill like one of the, the great characters off, but not every single one of the great characters. You should keep at least like some of them alive. Someone to keep more of the lamos alive than then the cool characters, the badass ones. I I'd have a problem to kill a Merle off too. Actually, I I'd have a problem to kill a Merle. I don't know. It's just me, you know. Well, anyways, uh, even the video game, even the fucking video games are better than the f- actual show. The video games are better. They have better story, characters, and everything. But somehow, that, that's that, that's the crazy part about it. the video games are better than the show. I just can't believe how people bought into this shit. Like, I don't know why people like this shit so much. Like, what is so great about The Walking Dead? This show hasn't been great since season four. Or after they kill, they kill off Shane. It wasn't even good anymore. Once I killed him off, I was like, alright, that's the end of the show. It's over. And the range just dropped like hell. Once they killed him off. That's like the, one of the most dumbest ass ideas ever. All because they want to follow the rules of the comic book. Fuck off. And here's another problem right here. I just found in this article. So right here that the creator, Robert Kirkman, admitted. Admitted. That he gave permission for the writers of the TV series to kill off a major character if they wanted to. If they wanted to. So he just gave, gave him the key and said, do what you fucking want and just kill off anybody you want. Even though, regardless of how great and popular the character is, let's just, just kill him off. Such a smart fucking idea. Is just let them do anything they want. Wow. Wow, this guy is a fucking genius. Just to let him do anything he want. Even Vince Gilligan will let, him let these people do whatever they want. Like, imagine if Vince Gilligan allowed his writers to do anything they want, and they decided to just kill off Huel from the from the Breaking Bad, and he just has a heart attack and falls to the ground and dies. Do you see how fucking stupid that is? If they had just some shit like that, he just he was just sustained or eating ice cream, and all of a sudden he just has a heart attack and falls on his fucking fat ass and dies. They would probably do some shit like that. That's how fucking retarded these writers are in The Walking Dead. Jesus Christ. This fucking uh, Nimrod, Robert Kirkman, is just like the dumbest idiot i ever seen in my life. That's why That's why Shane got killed off. He hired idiots to write the show. He was like, you know what? Yeah, you're here. I'm just eating a banana. Fuck it. You go, do what you want. I don't care. You know, I just want to make money. Blah, 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 blah. The end. He just, he just didn't give a fuck. He's just a fat fuck who just sits there and eats ice cream all day and let these assholes just do whatever they want with the show. What a great guy. He, he seems like he really cares about his, his fucking worker and stuff. He just doesn't like give a rat's ass about anything. He wrote all these comic books and did all this fucking stuff for it and he just doesn't care. Public cares like Shane gets killed off. Like that dude made like a lot of money for the show. Two seasons. I'm so, I'm so shocked to this day but he only lasts two seasons that character. Two seasons. And it says like here, it says nothing right here. The TV series was particularly unforgiving, killing characters like Sophia and Carl, who never die in the comic series. Who cares about Sophia and Carl? What about Shane? Shane's bigger than all these motherfuckers. Even though he got killed in the comic books, they should have changed it for the live action show. Fucking yeah, Carl's that's like, that's really stupid. Killing off Carl. That's like that, if that never happened in a comic book series, why would it kill him off in the show? The actor n- never changed his mind about the show. He never got like a fight with a director or anything like that, did he? He never wanted to quit the show either because, like I said, it said he moved to that area to start shooting more shit. 
So he didn't hate it or anything. He just decided to just kill him off because, oh, because he, he turned 18 years old. And we don't have enough money to pay an 18-year-old finally turned to a man. We're not going to pay that man money. He's this so-called turn to man. Like, are you fucking kidding me? Your cheap ass can't pay a, a guy who just turned 18 years old. Like, what the fuck goes on in these people's heads? Like, yeah, are you that fucking crazy? Like, what? Do they, do they have a brain in their head? Like, there's, a, it's, it's like a flowing dead goldfish in their head. These people, the right to show. It's like, do they understand what the fuck they're doing? I think, I think hiring monkeys would have a better idea to write the show than these fucking people. I swear to God, it's like, what the fuck is going on with these people in their head? Oh God, damn! I don't know what to say to this goofy shit. Like, and, that, and that's that's what happened. That's seriously what happened. I'm not kidding around. They want to pay a 18 year old kid money. Because he just turned to adult. I swear to God, go look it up. It's like the most retarded shit I ever read in my life. I was like, my, I feel like my brain I, I had to have a nerve damage into it. <sighs> I don't know. I don't know what else to say about this this uh, garbage ass show. I don't know what else to say. That they totally ruined it by killing off Shane and then killing off Carl. This is this. They kill the wrong characters because Robert Kirkman gets his ass all the keys and let them do anything they want. Like they're like little children that came out of kindergarten. Or Robert Kirkman hired kindergartners, give them boo boo keys to let them do anything they want. And then they hired this Asian woman, and right afterwards, after they fired the other guy, this she didn't know what the hell she doing either. And she made these stormtrooper characters, and I'm like, what the fuck? This is The Walking Dead. This is a zombie apocalypse. There's no stormtroopers and The Walking Dead. There's no stormtroopers in the zombie apocalypse. What is going on? Like, I was surprised there wasn't no flying zombie cow shooting lasers out of his otter. Or her otter. It's like, it's like fuck this shit. It's just it's like, the show's still making no sense. It does not make any sense. And yeah, now I know his name is Fidel Castro. That's the dictator's name. And also, Robert Kirkman sucks. He's a fat fucking slob.